Hey Chastatopians, welcome back to my channel. I am super psyched to be here again and making another video for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this video series so far and I hope that you can take the skills that I'm talking about and apply them to your own life so that you can benefit in the best way. If you're new to my channel, welcome. You can hit the like and subscribe button down below and also if you don't follow me on social media yet, I would encourage you to do so. My handles will be listed in the description box below. Alright, now that we've gotten all that out the way, let's dive right into our topic for today today I'm going to talk about weight loss and I'm not gonna talk about the good parts of weight loss I'm gonna talk about what makes it so hard to lose weight I feel like in today's society everyone's just like oh lose 10 pounds lose 20 pounds lose 100 pounds it's so easy do it do it do it and like there's all these supplements all these diets all these programs and it's just like it's still so hard to get into the mindset to lose weight like for some people it's like boom done I'm losing this weight I'm putting my mind to it I'm gonna do it but for me like every time I get ready to do it I fall short or, or I forget what I'm doing Ooh. or I just give up three days in here I am falling apart because my life is over my life is and I just want to talk about the hard parts of losing weight you know so today I'm gonna to give you five reasons why losing weight is so hard and I'm gonna give you five ways to overcome those hurdles so the number one thing that makes losing weight so hard is the starting point for me personally I'm trying to lose a lot of weight um, I mean not in a short amount of time like I said I'm not putting a time frame around when I want to lose this weight by but the starting point is hard because I let myself go for so long that I got to a point where it kind of seems like impossible that I could ever get to the point that I want to be at. And it's totally possible. Um, I just, I'm like, oh, if I start today, I can do it by, what, July next year? Just, it makes, it seems so far away and it seems so unattainable right now and I think that's what makes it hard in the first place is the starting point where you want to start from so if you want to start from 350 pounds and get down to 190 that's that's a big goal and it's gonna take some time and I think it's scary to think about like actually changing your life enough to where you can have that long-term diet workout plan and like actually get to the beneficial part <laughs> like imagine wanting to lose all this weight but like looking at the future like oh I'm gonna look so good but Twinkies are good so weigh my options but you just have to think positively about it and think oh this is the starting point I don't want to be here anymore I want to go forward so what I've done is I've told myself like okay today's the starting point I'm gonna slip up obviously everybody does but I don't want to slip up and not come back from it I want to reach my goal this time so I'm getting on this scale I'm drinking my water I'm eating right I'm doing my exercise and it feels so good that I don't want to stop so once you pick your starting point make it an attainable point make your starting point in a place where you have good mental health and you're in the right mindset if you don't have the right mindset there's no point even starting because you're gonna fall off really soon but if you wait until you're in the right mindset and you know what you want you know your goals you know where you want to be in a year go for it do it reason number two that weight loss is so hard is it's a long-term commitment and like I said you have to pick your starting point but you also have to understand it's not gonna happen overnight for me it's difficult like waking up the next morning and not seeing results immediately but you have to keep that mindset that oh my gosh the little things are happening now but later they're gonna lead up to big changes so like you might lose like an ounce a gram of fat today but a couple months down the road you're gonna look back and be like wow I lost 25 pounds so far I'm so happy that I didn't give up because I look so great and I can't wait to look even better realizing that weight loss is a long-term commitment is gonna help you a lot because it's just like it's like a relationship like your relationship isn't just gonna be amazing overnight you have to work at it you have to grow with it you have to do counseling you have to take care of it you have to make sure you're doing everything right you know you have to take care of it and so it's the same thing with weight loss you have to make sure you're putting in your full effort you have to make sure that you're taking care of yourself you have to make sure that everything is going the way that you planned it out even when you get curveballs you still have to realize that it's a long-term commitment and 
you know, nothing is easy, especially not weight loss. So go ahead and choose your starting point, be in the right mindset, realize that it's a long-term commitment, and start the process and be consistent. The third hardest part about losing weight is the balance and the exercise and eating right and the metabolism. Metabolism is not like an excuse to not reach your goal because like I've seen people way bigger than me get down to like, whew, and like, I'm sure their metabolism wasn't like high speed. I don't know anything about body composition or anything. Um, I know my body composition because I went and got it done, but like, I don't know a lot about weight loss. I'm from a doctor standpoint or from a trainer standpoint, but like, I know eating and exercise go hand in hand, and eating might even be more important than exercising for you. I exercised a lot over the summer didn't do anything because I wasn't committed to eating right and now that I started eating right I already noticed like I feel better my face is clearing up I like my skin is glowing so now that I started eating right like I've noticed this difference and like when I start exercising I know I'm gonna be like whoosh you know I'm not gonna be a model but like I know it's gonna be better so like you have to balance both and I know for um, my generation it's difficult because like fast food is there and like you can easily pull up to a, a drive-thru but get a salad or get grilled chicken get something healthy like you have to eat right you have to exercise it's a must they go hand in hand you have to do both you can't just do one all or nothing <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to post some more healthy recipes and meal plans that I've been following and um, maybe even do a video about some diet plans that I've tried because I have tried some and they have not been the greatest for me personally and I've also tried some supplements and they have not worked for me so um, I'll talk about that in another video number four reason why weight loss is so hard is because of your support system if you hang around people who are not trying to improve their life improve their quality of life be better then you're not gonna want to do better you're not gonna want to be better you're not gonna want to eat healthier because it's just like oh well I want to be supported but the people that I'm looking to support me they don't support this so maybe I shouldn't do this no you need to be concrete you need to be sure and you need to be straightforward about your intentions and your beliefs and your regime okay you need to be straightforward about it and let people know i'm on a weight loss journey and <laughs> i'm gonna do this for me and if you really love me then you'll support me you'll help me through it it's not a oh i want to lose weight and then tomorrow you go through the drive through with them no or you want to go exercise but then tomorrow you're laying on the couch watching tv no let your support system know what you're trying to accomplish and if they support you then they're really your support system if they don't bye remember what i said in my other video like whoever you hang around is gonna boost your self-confidence or they're gonna bring you down and it's either gonna be yes girl get it lose your weight or it's gonna be ah, well i'm kind of hungry today and i'm kind of feeling lazy it's gonna be one or the other and you just have to choose you know like do you really want this is this really your goal and are the people around you really worth not achieving your goals? Ask yourself that question because the people you surround yourself with, important, important on swaying your judgments, very important. I'm not saying all your judgments should be swayed by people, but I know that when you have the right people in your life, it's much easier to make better decisions. And reason number five that people struggle with weight loss, self-motivation. If you are not self-motivated, you are not gonna lose the weight. You gotta do it for you. Even if the people around you are good people and you're like, I'm not going to cut them off, like, but they're not encouraging you, then you got to encourage yourself. Look, all your friends might be skinny already. They might be slim thick already, but you're not and you feel as confident around other people when you're with them. You feel anxious. You feel down. And that's not a good feeling. I know I've been there. I've been that friend. It sucks to feel that way, but... At the end of the day, when you're in that situation, you don't want to lose your friends, you have to do it yourself. Whatever they're doing, you just have to tell yourself, I need to eat right, I need to exercise, I need to do this for myself. And some of us have those friends where they're like, oh girl, you look great, you're perfect the way you are. Um, that's nice and all, but like, be truthful with me for a second. Like, I'm overweight, I'm on the brink of diabetes, I'm so unhealthy, it's not even funny. Like, your friends may need a wake up call. Like, you might have to tell them how unhealthy you actually are, especially if it's affecting your blood work and like, your bodily functions. Like, you need to let people know, like, 
I'm going through this. I really need you to support me. And if you can't support me, I'm going to support myself. Your running partner might not be up to it today, but you're up to it. So go do it regardless. Your friend might not want to go with you to the gym, but you need to go to the gym. Go regardless. Your sister might not want to go grocery shopping with you, but you need to buy healthy foods for the house. So you need to go regardless of what your sister is doing. You need to do this for you, especially if you want to see those results. You have to be consistent and you have to have strong will and strong self-motivation. There's literally nothing more important than being self-motivated. Like, just follow this roadmap. Like, mark your starting point. Realize it's a long-term commitment. You got to run the long race, not a short race. Um, balance your eating and exercise. Get your support system in order. I mean, if you don't have anybody, remember number five: self-motivation, strong will. You want to live a long time. You want to do great things. You do it. Go do it. The only person blocking your blessings, you. That is all for my video today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick five reasons why it's so hard to lose weight. And I hope that you guys took something away from this. And like, if you're trying to lose weight, I wish you the best. I hope that you accomplish everything you set out to accomplish. And I hope that you set goals and you work towards them and that you just are super prosperous in this journey. Have a blessed week and make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Love you, bye.